Hey guys, this is a video in my TI-30XS multi-view tutorial series. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to calculate the arithmetic mean, sample and population standard deviation, median, lower and upper quartile values, and sum of all the data points of a set with one variable using the TI-30XS multi-view calculator. Without further ado, let's get to it. The first data set I'm going to work with is as follows, 2, 3, 5, 8, 1, and 9. In order to enter these data into the calculator, press the data button, and then this screen comes up with lists L1, L2, and L3. I'm going to type in my numbers into L1, and so I'm just going to press uh, I'm just going to type in the first number which is 2 and then press enter so 2 appears in the list and I'm going to do that for all the other uh, data points so uh, 3 enter 5 enter 8 enter 1 enter and finally 9 enter after you've typed in the data points it's usually a good idea to double check or to see and make sure that there are no uh, errors just to make sure you haven't mistyped anything uh, so just arrow up and make sure that all the data points are as you want them and uh, it doesn't look like I made any mistakes so I'm going to move forward with the statistical calculations I'm going to press second and the data button to select the stats option and this comes up and I'm going to select the one variable stats so press enter and this screen comes up. Uh, first, it asks which uh, list the data appears in. Uh, for me, it's L1. But if your data, for example, appeared in L2, you could always just arrow over and then press Enter to select uh, L2. But for me, I need to have L1 selected. The frequency is 1, and that means uh, each of my data points only appears once. So 2 appears once. Uh, 3 appears once, 5 appears once, and so on. There are no repeats. I don't have two copies of 2 in the data set, or two copies of 5. So the frequency is 1 for now, and we're going to play with this in just a little bit, and then afterwards uh, uh, arrow down to cal uh, the calculate option and press enter. This gives us all the information that we need to know. First, the n value tells us how many pieces of data we entered, which is 6. And then we have the arithmetic mean, followed by the sample standard deviation. And afterwards, we have the population standard deviation. And then we have the sum of all the data points, followed by the sum of the squares of all the data points. And if you arrow down more, we have the minimum identified as 1. We have the lower quartile value as 2, uh, the median as 4, and the upper quartile value as 8. And then uh, the maximum is identified to be 9, and that's all. Now, we're going to use the frequency feature a bit more. And first, let's clear the stored data. Uh, so head over to the data menu again, so press data. Now, if you want to just uh, delete one entry just have the cursor on that entry and press uh, delete but if you want to delete an entire list just arrow uh, arrow over to the blank uh, blank space then press delete and press da uh, the data button and this comes up and here you can select which list you want to clear since I want to clear L1 I'm just going to press enter since the cursor is already on the clear L1 option. So press enter. And now L1 is cleared. The data set we're going to use this time is as follows. And notice that many of the entries are repeated. So 2 appears twice, 3 appears 3 times, 5 appears once, but 8 appears twice, 1 appears once, but 9 appears 3 times. So the frequency for uh, for some entries are more than one. So you don't expect me to try type in every single uh, entry multiple times. So I'm going to use the frequency option. 
In L1, I'm going to type in the data points, and in L2, I'm going to type in uh, how many times that data point is repeated. So in L1, I'm going to type in 2, press enter, 3, press enter, 5, enter, 8, enter, 1, enter, and 9, enter. So in, in uh, L1, I just have the data points. So I'm going to arrow over to L2, and next to each data point, I'm going to type in how many times it appears. So next to 2, I'm going to type in 2 because 2 appears twice. Next to 3, I'm going to type in 3 because 3 appears 3 times. Next to 5, I'm going to type in 1 because 5 only appears once. Next to 8, I'm going to type in 2 because 8 appears twice. Next to 1, I'm going to type in just 1 because 1 appears once. And next to 9, I'm going to type in 3 because 9 appears 3 times. Now I'm going to do uh, the calculation just as before. So I'm going to type in second and then the data button. And once again, I'm going to select one var stats. Press enter to select it. And my data is still in L1, but now my frequency is not 1. My frequency is listed in L2. So I'm going to arrow over there and press enter. And then uh, once the cursor is on calculate, uh, press enter. And now I get the information that I wanted. N is equal to 12 because I have 12 pieces of data. And then uh, my arithmetic mean uh, followed by the sample standard deviation, uh, population standard deviation, and so on. I hope this video helps in some way. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment. I'll try my best to help. If you haven't already, please subscribe. Check out other videos on my channel, especially the graphing and scientific calculator tutorial series, also the differential equations and calculus series. And until next time, take care, guys.